What is going on guys? Grave here. Today let's talk about the Dragon Celebration event which starts in ESO on the 26th of January and runs until February the 7th. To participate in the event you have to have access to Elsewhere, Dragonhold, Rastone, or Scalebreaker DLCs. These are all available with the ESO Plus membership or you can purchase them in the Crown Store. To start the festivities all you have to do is the introductory quest Bane of Dragons available for, th uh, for free within the in-game Crown Store. During the season of the Dragon Celebration, you can get glorious Elsewhere reward boxes once per day upon finishing the first daily quest in Northern or Southern Elsewhere, or from the first Sunspire Trial weekly quest completed that day. The glorious Elsewhere reward boxes will give you a guaranteed green, blue, or purple Elsewhere treasure, guaranteed blue or purple uh, Overland set item, a chance for crafting style items or motif style pages, and also things like Transmute Crystals, Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Bile, Treasure Maps, Document Recipes, and the new Claw Dance Acolyte Armor Style Pages. In addition, you can earn regular Elsewhere reward boxes by participating in things like uh, the Bane of the Dragons Introductory Quest, Repeating Daily Quest, Slaying Dragons or World Bosses in Northern or Southern Elsewhere, Defeating Wrathstone and Scalebreaker Dungeon Bosses, Opening Treasure Chest, Opening Safe Boxes, Looting Objects like Barrels and Crates, Looting Sigic Portals, Thieves Troves, or Harvesting Crafting Nodes. These are less rare, but it's equal as kind of the regular Elsewhere reward boxes can contain some of the, or pretty much the exact same items you can get in the larger reward box you get once per day but you're going to have a lot smaller chance of receiving some of these items. You'll have a, guar uh, a guaranteed chance to get a green or blue treasure, uh, a guaranteed chance to get a green, blue, or purple overland set item, a chance for crafting style materials, uh, maps or survey reports, or motif style pages, transmute crystals, dragon's blood, and so on. And you also will have a small chance to get those dragon document recipes and that new claw dance acolyte armor style page. So you're still going to have a chance if you continue to stay in elsewhere and just get the regular elsewhere boxes, but you have the bigger chance to get some of the new items and some of the larger items uh, that are available from the glorious elsewhere box that you get once per day. Also during the event, there will be event tickets. You can get up to 25 event tickets during the event. Uh, during the period, you will receive one event ticket for the first daily quest completed in Northern Elsewhere and another ticket for the first daily quest in Southern Elsewhere. So you can get two tickets per day for a total of 26. All three uh, Passion Dancer Blossom Pet Fragments will, will be available. The first Passion Muse Personality Fragment, Bound Style Pages for Claw Dance Acolyte Armor Pack, uh, Group Repair Kit, and uh companion guild commendations will be available as well so this is going to be kind of that uh first time we can get that passion dancer blossom pet so this will give you that first opportunity this year to be able to do that so make sure that you're checking your tickets make sure you don't have more than 12 because you're not going to be able to get any more if you have more than 12 so make sure you're spending them when the band goes on and also we'll have indrick uh the indrick bender will be available as well with feathers berries uh, of course, some pets and things like that. So if you're interested in still getting those Endrix from the vendor. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts about this event. Let me know if you're going to be participating. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.